Okay, let's try something a little bit different today. I don't want to go too, too teachy with what I'm trying to say. I just want to show you a little bit of what my process is and how I do things when I'm being a cinematographer. Today I want to talk to you about measuring light. Our eyes and monitors are very very unreliable when telling if a scene is too bright or too dark. That's because our brain is constantly adjusting to what our eyes are seeing. If you go to a, from a very bright room to a very dark room, suddenly it's going to be way too dark when you initially go in. But after a few moments, it starts clearing up, clearing up, and then the dark room just looks normal to you. So your brain is constantly tricking you into seeing things properly. That's a good thing when you're a human being, but not a good thing when you're a cinema camera. A cinema camera, unlike our brains, goes in manual mode all the time, meaning that the camera doesn't do any thinking for you. The camera has no brain. The only thing the camera does is grab light and make it an image. All the thinking of how it's going to do that is done by you, the cinematographer. That means that the key settings in order to capture an image are set by you before even shooting. So how do you measure light? There's two ways to measure light. And I'm going to start with my favorite way to measure light, which is this little thing. This is a light meter. A light meter, let me show you. It's this little device that tells you how much output a light is giving you. This is a dome. It goes in. Wait, is a dome that goes in and out? It's shaped like a half sphere because it imitates a human face. In this light meter, you dial in the settings of your camera. You dial the frame rate, you dial the ISO, and you dial the shutter speed. And then you press this little button on the side and it tells you what aperture you have to set your lens to in order to have a proper middle average exposure. What does that mean? Here we have our subject in a pretty lit environment and we take a reading. It says F8 almost f11 so we set our camera to that setting let's say f11 in this case and we see how it's still overexposed but her face where she is right now is properly exposed this is important because now you're not just trusting your eyes that the monitor looks good or that looking at the scene from outside the camera just looks good think of it like this a carpenter uses a tape measure to measure wood and a cinematographer uses a light meter to measure light the second way to tell if a scene is properly lit or not, is by using a tool called false color. False color makes your scene look like this. It looks crazy. It looks like it's an 80s music video or something. But the importance of false color is that when you're looking at a monitor, everything just looks normal. So you can't tell what's too bright or too dark or just about right. False color gives those values just a different color. And very simple colors to understand. Bright red means it's way overexposed. Purple, which is... Um, way underexposed and then you're gonna have green which is supposed to be the average middle exposure somewhere around my face that is another way to tell whether the scene you're shooting is too bright or too dark false color is used with the monitor so if you have a monitor that has false color or a camera that does false color then good for you but a lot of cameras that are not cinema grade or cameras that are more on the prosumer consumer end don't have false color so you have to buy a more expensive monitor that does false color and then you can do that but a light meter works on any camera it works on film cameras it works on digital cameras it works on cinema cameras it works on anything because light hasn't changed since the world started in order to make an informed opinion on how to shoot something you gotta have facts this gives you facts false color facts cinematographers before the days of digital cinema used to use this in order to light a scene without even bringing the camera to set they would the actors would do their blocking and they would come and start pointing this around Put in light somewhere, measuring, 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 and then bring the camera be stand there. Put the camera, start rolling, it's gonna look fine. And because it was film, nobody could really see what was happening. I just think it's very useful to know how to really explain and justify your decisions behind shooting a scene. So if you made it this far, thank you for supporting the channel. I'll leave a link down below for my Instagram, my Vimeo Reel. Check it out. Please comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.